Hello fellas, fellerettes. For all of you guys who followed my videos, you'll like this. Before I get onto this clock though, I just want to go and point over to another one that is here. Remember this clock, this big grandfather clock. This is actually not mine. It belongs to my friend Sam. And uh, she's very appreciative of your comments, whose people have commented about the chime on this big beauty. And uh, thanks to everybody who's commented on it. <clears throat> and I appreciate it. Sorry I've not done any videos for a while. But um, I've just had rather a lot of disappointments. I was going to do a lot more videos on these other clocks. But um, sadly, I did videos on them and my computer let me down. I lost them all. So uh, we've got them again. We've got a clock here which is a bit picky. It stopped again. It doesn't like being moved, this doesn't. This is a 1930s dual chime Westminster Whittington. And I've got a running for all of maybe 15 seconds. Oh, she's not happy. She's not happy. That one, I'll get to that later. That's a slate clock, which is absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't strike properly, needs restoration, but it's a project that the pair of us liking clocks the way we do as friends we're gonna sort of work together and get these all all the ones that need doing get them going because these clocks are a dying art I'm afraid I and mean, they still buy new ones but it's not so easy now to get really high quality stuff and that one stopped again it doesn't matter because I'm not really gonna um, not really gonna have it running too much because we're gonna demonstrate its chimes it's a th um, eight day hat clock as you can see by its profile we're not sure of its make we i think looking at the movement it looks very much like a hack um i've seen on youtube the videos of the hack trinities and the, the movement mechanism that powers this looks very similar to a hack trinity i open the front of it and you can see that it's a fairly standard Definitely looks Jungen's hack-ish because of the hands. It's got the typical, what I call the Jungen's hands. So it could be hack Jungen's, looking at them. It's the same as one of my wall clocks. It's got the, the hour hands got like the little ball and the point. And then the, the minute hands kind of got a little flare. It looks very much like a hack Jungen's typical kind of thing. It's a dual chime and currently it's on um, Whittington. And it is the most gorgeous sounding chime. Listen to this. I'm gonna take it through the quarter past. No, I'm not because it's not doing it. Now I've got the chime locked off, it would seem. Now it's just, uh... oh no, I haven't. I'm gonna to have to see if I can figure out what's going Interesting. I'm going to have to sort of see if I can sort this out because this is not happy. It's playing silly devils. Excuse me, guys. We're going to just do something we don't normally do, but it does work with these, I think. I don't know why the strike thing's kind of playing silly devils the way it is. It's not happy with it. It just won't... It's going to do that again because it's... When you take it off silent, it doesn't seem to like it, does it? No. I'm not sure what's going on there. Is it up when it's on... It's up, isn't it, when it's on normal? Yes. Okay, let's try taking... Ah, it's going to engage this time. Yep. It's going to engage completely wrong. It's completely wrong, but the... Sorry about that, the clock itself is acting silly. As you can see, it's got auto self-correct. At the quarter two, it'll do nothing. Make the noise, but it won't engage because it knows that that's where it is in the, ch in the chime sequence. How that works, I've no idea, but it's very clever. I'm gonna take it round to the top of the hour, let it do that. You feel it engage there as it's coming up. Isn't that 
beautiful. It's showing nine o'clock on the dial because I've got to put it back and set it. Well, what a beautiful clock. The hour strike's a bit disappointing on it though. It's just one rod. I've never come across another. That's why I think it might be a Young'uns or something, or a Gustav Becker, or a Hack. The Hack ones are usually um, multi-note strike, the ones I've seen anyway. This one could actually be a Gustav. Yeah, it could, because you're a Warpox, I've got a Gustav and it's a single rod. Can you think of that? Quarter past. The gorgeous scale, I mean I love that scale anyway, but... I'm going to do a review of another one in a minute or two. I'm going to focus on an interesting one now because it's about to chime the hour. I'm going to do a video about this in its own right, but I've moved over to a ship's bell clock. I want you to hear the hour strike on this in case I miss it. Now this is interesting. We've got too many clocks to talk about here, but this is a Seth Thomas, I think. It is. And it does this. But that's not all. Listen to this. What do you think of that? We're going to do a proper review on this one later. But I thought I'd share that with you for this video because I can do a bit better job. But um, we'll, we'll talk about that one in, in later view. But this one is our main focus, obviously. We've just made it do the half past, take it to the quarter two. I like that one. I'm gonna put this camera over here for a second. And we're gonna turn this around so we can look at the, uh, actually we can go around the back of it. I'm going to let you see this from the back because this clock is um, quite uh, different. Let's open the back of it and it's not running at the moment but there's the typical movement that I think it could be a hack because all of this here is what makes it run look. I've seen hack clocks like this. Can it tick in? You can see all the chime work underneath, look. And that goes up to this piece here, which that looks very hack-ish. Look at the hack trinity clocks. They've got that same piece here on the corner where the, where the barrel mechanism is. And it's got the wires coming down to the hammers there at the bottom. So I'm going to let you hear the hour strike with that chime and let you see it from the back. This is awesome. Heh. <laughs> There it goes. We'll ignore that one. I'll get to that one later. They're in competition. But I don't know what sort of clock this is, really. It could be Gustav Becker. Now, this clock's got an interesting problem, and somebody might be able to tell us how to fix this. Basically, I'm going to change the chime setting, and the barrel moves. But when you put it, I've put it on Westminster now, when you put it back, it doesn't sort of go, and what you have to do is touch the barrel, and it goes bit. It drops back in, so the barrel's sticky. If anybody knows how to, it seems to move all right. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking at it now, and it slides freely. Just when you put it back in, it does that. It doesn't go properly. It doesn't click where it should. 
but maybe somebody knows how we can get that to work it's binding it's binding up on something and I'm not sure what as it's going back it's uh, strange yeah it's binding up on something that's what it is but anyway when you move it to Westminster it's absolutely fine like that it works fine as we'll see Perfect. Well, the problem is when you get it on the other chime. And I don't like doing this, but for demonstration, you've got to see this. If somebody knows what the problem is with this, we'd like to know. Because it does this, and it's very disconcerting. <laughs> and of course it didn't do it. But sometimes it goes boom. I might have sorted it out. But as you can see, it's a great clock. absolutely love it myself and I think Sam does too it's quite expensive but a very nice German movement there you can see the hammer there doing its thing let's get a zoomed in angle of those hammers and we'll just let it peel all the way down them if I can focus on them enough I can't really see what I'm doing yeah sorry about the camera angle it's wonky ripple effect all the way down that one's very slow and there's your movement and you can see all the mechanism and the wires that go up to this this is why I think it's a hack because of that the way that's arranged there and it comes down and the hammers although at the bottom here are driven you probably can't really see these cables here there's cables that connect all the hammers to the to the thing and I've stopped it. There she goes. She goes quite readily. No, she doesn't. But you can see the wires there going up under there to the back of that, which is interesting. I've never seen anything the way that's actuated is very interesting. So make me think it's a trinity because of that. Well, it's not a trinity, but it's the clock is based on a similar movement or a similar design architecture. Anyway guys, we'll call this a day and uh, we will uh, hopefully uh, hear from you all soon.